No more Model 2, no more compact crossover, and no more $25,000 EV. The window for Tesla next-gen vehicles has already closed. Everything's been confirmed, and the reason this low-cost car was discontinued is caught up in a fierce debate between customers, investors, and Elon Musk. The Model 2 still exists, it's just that its story won't be written again for at least another two years. All will be revealed now with Tesla Car World. To be honest, ever since Tesla announced the $25,000 affordable car, mainstream attention has shifted towards it instead of focusing on other models like the Y3 and S. Not stopping there, the information Musk shared about this next-gen EV as representing a revolution, aiming for massive production volumes, and being produced on an unprecedented production line only fuels continuous stock purchases by customers and investors. Most crazily, the news that the $25,000 car will soon be released by 2025 has stirred the entire industry. Even we spend every second updating ourselves about this car, and this time the update we got about the $25,000 car was not very positive. What major issues is the $25,000 Model 2 facing? It seems like Musk's accusation of Reuters lying was a denial following misinformation related to production halts and next-gen vehicles. However, last week on April 15th, the tech site Electrek confirmed that the Model 2 project had indeed ceased funding and many personnel in the related department had been laid off. This information implies that we won't be seeing the Model 2 any sooner next year. Rather, it'll become a story for a few years from now. This is quite contradictory to the information we got earlier that Tesla had sent, quote, requests and invitations to tender to suppliers for the Model 2 Redwood prototype last year, with an estimated weekly production volume of 10,000 units. Regarding the halting of Model 2 production, Elon Musk announced that Tesla would be reducing its global workforce by over 10%, equivalent to 14,000 people. More shockingly, shortly after, two senior executives of Tesla also announced their resignations. Those two individuals are Drew Buglino, the director of battery cell development, and Rohan Patel, the Deputy General Counsel for Policy. As part of the reason for Model 2's delay, according to Reuters and Electric, Tesla is shifting all its resources to the self-driving taxi project. We all know that Elon Musk previously posted on X that Tesla RoboTaxi will be revealed on August 8th, but he did not provide any further details regarding the production plan. Instead, Musk said he wants Tesla to focus on the southward expansion of Gigafactory Texas, which will house a massive data center for the RoboTaxi project. If the information is correct, Tesla's decision to shelve the $25,000 Model 2 project in favor of focusing on the RoboTaxi has opened up a significant shift in their manufacturing strategy. Instead of continuing to produce both types of vehicles simultaneously, they have decided to concentrate resources on developing and manufacturing the RoboTaxi at the Texas factory. This means that all machinery and labor will be directed towards the RoboTaxi project until its unveiling on August 8, the time Elon Musk plans to announce the launch of the self-driving car. The Unbox Process production line, although designed to be flexible and capable of producing both Model 2s and RoboTaxis, will be primarily used for RoboTaxi production in the initial stage. This represents a clear shift in Tesla's production priorities as they decide to prioritize the development and deployment of the RoboTaxi project. However, this transition is not a definitive decision that may have long-lasting consequences. Although the production line could switch to producing Model 2 after the stable development of RoboTaxis, the reality could be a prolonged process extending until 2027. In reality, there are numerous factors impacting the cessation of Model 2 production, but one of the most evident is the disruption from the pickup truck. It's undeniable that Tesla's slowdown partly stems from Elon Musk's decision to prioritize the Cybertruck before developing an affordable electric vehicle. He admitted, we dug our own grave with a Cybertruck. Another reason is that Tesla is waiting for the Shenzhen 2.0 LFP battery packs from Cattle at their Nevada factory. As previously announced, Cattle confirmed that the battery pack for the Model 2 is expected to be the LFP 2.0. But Tesla has not directly purchased the battery cells or raw materials that Tesla will produce them. Cattle stated that they have sent production equipment for this battery technology to Tesla in Nevada. Therefore, the delay in the affordable vehicle until Giga Nevada can produce those battery packs is also a plausible hypothesis that we can understand. On the other hand, Tesla's delay in providing a $25,000 electric vehicle could also be due to the low profit margin of such a vehicle. 
This was the case in 2021 when the project was purportedly underway, and it's likely it'll still be the case in 2024, with the pressures of inflation and rising raw material costs potentially pushing the initial $25,000 target up to $30,000 or higher, not far from what the cheapest Model 3 was initially expected to be. Additional evidence that the Model 2 encountered issues surfaced when Franz von Holzhausen, Tesla's chief designer, was asked whether the Model 2 project had been canceled or was undergoing restructuring in an event. Typically, to dispel doubts, Franz would only need to confirm something clearer than Musk. I would just stay tuned, von Holzhausen replied. Just don't always believe what you read. Similar to Musk's simple response on X, von Holzhausen did not provide any further detailed information on the subject, aside from implying that Tesla is indeed doing something unclear with their Model 2. Why would Model 2 shelving be a wrong decision for Tesla? At first glance, some initial signs emerged as certain investors welcomed the idea of focusing on robo-taxis instead of the Model 2. Musk's two initial posts helped reverse Tesla's stock losses, which had dropped by 6% following Reuters report on the affordable car model. However, the stock will certainly plummet again once information about the cancellation of the next-gen EV is confirmed. A prime example is Tesla's stock declining after news of employee layoffs, and it has since decreased by over 40% from its peak in July last year. If Elon Musk and Tesla indeed postponed the $25,000 Model 2 in favor of launching a robo-taxi first, it could be a decision contrary to the demands of the majority of customers. We also acknowledge several challenges with a vehicle lacking a steering wheel or pedals. First, if Elon's referring to a road taxi the way the terms used in the industry today, a level four vehicle designed to autonomously pick up passengers when summoned via an app, then it would also require its own ecosystem of related hardware and software. This includes LiDAR sensors, which Tesla's famously avoided, as well as radar, which Tesla currently deems unnecessary. It's evident to all of us that a robo-taxi requires a breakthrough in the field of autonomous driving that Tesla has not yet achieved after a decade of effort. Of course, manufacturers could accelerate progress by adding more expensive sensors, such as LiDAR, radar, even if they previously dismissed them. However, Tesla's current full self-driving FSD software, with its current capabilities, cannot achieve the level of autonomy, level 5, required by robo-taxis. Meanwhile, the $25,000 vehicle comes with lower costs as a simple engineering feat. In the event Tesla struggles to keep its promise regarding the price point, they could at least leverage simplified techniques from the Model 3 instead of an entirely new approach. This approach may be contentious, but it would likely help them achieve that $25,000 retail price tag. It's not just personal speculation, as even experts in autonomous vehicles and those familiar with vehicle regulations have indicated that Tesla may need several more years to launch a fully self-driving car approved by regulators. On the other hand, according to individuals familiar with the project, it has been delayed and there are doubts about its completion by the end of April, a timeline that Musk has pushed for. The decision to postpone Model 2 in favor of a robo-taxi appears as though Tesla is discontinuing a product that people are eagerly anticipating and replacing with a product dependent on technology that he's been unable to deliver for eight years, despite numerous promises of its imminent release next year. It's easy to speculate that the company's management is in disarray when Tesla has just lost two top executives along with layoffs, then that's not a good sign. If there are no significant changes, the upcoming earnings announcement could be a disaster at least in terms of reassuring investors. Faced with Elon's silence about the news of shelving his $25,000 car project, investors have begun to speak up. Wedbush senior equity analyst Dan Ives told Reuters that Musk's silence on the Model 2 was gut-wrenching to Tesla investors because it's so instrumental to the growth story. Ross Gerber, president and CEO at Gerber Kawasaki Wealth and Investment Management and a Tesla investor, put it more bluntly, there's no point in even investing in Tesla if they don't come out with this car, he said. The street wants and needs answers. When Tesla holds an earnings call scheduled for April 23rd, wrote the analysts for Wedbush Securities after the layoffs were revealed. Prominent Tesla investor and portfolio manager at Barron Capital Incorporated, David Barron, said, The Model 2 is a crucial piece of our thesis. If they stop that, that's investment thesis changing, he told Bloomberg. Gerber of Gerber Kawasaki also joined Barron in bashing Tesla's redirection of robo-taxis in a post on X. Without a lowered price Tesla for mass market drivers, there isn't one financial model that any analyst has that works for Tesla. They must develop a low-cost Tesla, Gerber wrote. The concept of a car devoid of steering wheel and pedals 
is still within the realms of speculation and regulatory complexities. While Musk's bold proclamations have hinted at such advancements, tangible products remain elusive. Yeah, we all know that. Tesla is not one to shy away from showcasing groundbreaking ideas far from mass market readiness, such as their initial presentation of the Tesla bot featuring a human in disguise due to a lack of functioning technology at the time. We may very well witness an impressive display come August 8th, even if it remains non-operational. The actual production and commercialization plans will likely span years following traditional Tesla timelines. Recall the four-year gap between Cybertruck's announcement and actual delivery? Why will Tesla fall behind other automakers when shelving Model 2? Affordable cars are seen as the key to helping Elon achieve his ambitious growth targets. In 2020, he declared that Tesla aimed to sell 20 million vehicles by 2030, doubling the sales of the current world's largest automaker, Toyota. With the Model 2 being scrapped, it's unclear how the CEO will achieve this figure, and even more concerning is the possibility that other automakers will see this as opportunity to create their own version of the Model 2. Certainly, everything is based on the assumption that Tesla's cheaper car won't materialize. A question that's been widely discussed and one we believe you'd be interested in is, which car is going to take the place of Tesla's Model 2 $25,000? Initially, with a positive outlook, my immediately thought is no other car is going to fill that void, simply because there's no other automaker like Tesla. But delving deeper into the essence of this question, we broaden the issue with the key thought. Who out there would produce a modern, globally appealing electric car at a lower cost that can sell it in every market worldwide, in North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, and Australia? The allure of Tesla's global brand and its market research represent a significant breakthrough. That's precisely why the Model Y became the world's best-selling model despite being slightly more expensive than the theoretically top-selling model. Returning to the question of who would create a cheap electric car that Tesla hasn't done yet, of course, the first company that comes to mind for many is BYD. In China, there's no shortage of electric cars priced at 25 grand, and there are currently some popular models priced at 20,000 or even 15,000 dollars. Additionally, there are now some models priced close to that 10,000 dollar mark, including BYD's Seagull. BYD seems the most feasible because they've already surpassed Tesla at least once last year. They've got the necessary scale and they've got a broad global reach. What's more concerning is that this Chinese automaker has experience in creating cheap cars long before Tesla. While Tesla's been rumored to have disassembled a Honda Civic to study cost-cutting strategies, in other words, Tesla was rumored to have disassembled a Honda Civic to study cost-cutting strategies. In other words, Tesla lacks experience with cheap cars. BYD certainly has the capability to produce popular cheap electric cars. They're doing so and starting to sell them across continents. While this is true, we all have to acknowledge that BYD doesn't have the social media star power that Tesla does, and Tesla has that worldwide. BYD sells a variety of different models across different types of vehicles, so it's a bit different in its approach from Tesla. And you could argue that it goes beyond Model 2 and its electric vehicle lineup. Additionally, there's Geely, the automotive conglomerate that owns Zeker, Polestar, Volvo Cars, Lincoln Company, and several other popular brands in China. Personally, we see a brand like Zeker as a much more direct competitor to Tesla than most BYD models. However, it's still a smaller brand with very low production and sales numbers. Which model would come from Geely on the assumed scale of a cheaper Tesla? Competitors compared to Tesla also always mention China's famous startups Neo and Xpeng, companies that closely follow Tesla in vehicle design and technology and have developed quite impressively. That's not to mention a host of other automakers like GM, Volkswagen, and Ford. Regardless of whether they'll be successful or not, all other automakers have the potential to create attractive generations of cheap electric cars that can rival Tesla. Canceling or postponing this electric car, in our view, would be a major failure for Elon Musk. The lower-priced electric car will expand the market that Tesla can address. A new type of car for the mass market will also help refresh the company's product line. The Model Y was first sold in 2020. Up to 60% of Ives' projected growth for Tesla in the coming years comes from the Model 2. So the sooner the car hits the road, the better. However, the electric car industry will still lose out if we don't get the $25,000 Model 2 from Tesla. That model could attract more people into the electric field. There's nothing that can replace it, and there's a lot of potential left untapped if it's removed from the market. With a Model 2 left out of the picture, the electric car market will once again lose to internal combustion engines. Let's hope the news about this is wrong, even though it seems unlikely, or let's hope Elon changes his mind about it. 
Although it's not entirely canceled or discontinued, in theory it still exists, but it's been defunded and many people associated with it have been fired as part of previously announced layoffs today, affecting about 10% of Tesla's workforce. So Elon's previous denial of canceling the Model 2, while technically valid, is quite misleading. In summary, there is an entire technological infrastructure behind the current commercial robotaxi operations deployed in some cities. So the issue of robotaxis doesn't just stop at the vehicles themselves. Tesla's current driver assist system, including autopilot and FSD, only allows for SAE level 2 usage, and the automaker has not recently indicated that an unmanned vehicle capable of carrying passengers is imminent. Surely Tesla can provide electric vehicles, and third parties can install sensors for them. And perhaps this is what we'll see by the end of this year. Commenting on robotaxis also raises the question of who the owners of these cars are going to be. Typically, these are companies that own fleets and related hardware, while also hiring many experts to supervise them remotely. Will Tesla be the owner in this case, or will they sell robotaxis to companies like Uber? Tesla's roadmap may ultimately converge both robotaxis platform and their mass market hopeful, the so-called $25,000 Tesla, leveraging shared technologies to achieve scale. In light of potential setbacks with Model 2 rumors being quashed by Musk himself and chief designer Franz von Holzhausen hinting at imminent announcements, Tesla must navigate through intense competition, especially from Chinese manufacturers, offering more affordable compact vehicles critical in markets like China and Europe where smaller city-friendly cars are in demand. Rivian has already edged ahead with its R3 model, while European and Chinese automakers steadily increase market share with compact offerings. As such, it falls upon Tesla to respond effectively with innovations that can withstand burgeoning rivals within this dynamic landscape. So, how do you feel about the cancellation of the Model 2, and what's your opinion on the robo-taxis that Tesla will be releasing in the near future? We appreciate your contributions. We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.